Hi Virgo, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-September to the end of September 2020 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. So let's see what is going on with Virgo. This is general, so it may not resonate for all of you, so you can watch one of your other signs. And regardless of whether you are cross-watching for someone else or watching for yourself, the rules can be reversed, okay? So do keep that in mind. So let's see. What is going on with Virgo mid-September? Oh. We have union, we have forgiveness, and we have abandoned. Okay, interesting. So... Somebody's feeling abandoned, but I do see a union on the horizon here and forgiveness. Or maybe forgiveness is needed. We just had forgiveness for Taurus, actually. And I think for one other sign, so a lot of forgiveness in mid-September. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, so for you we have the Page of Cups. Well, that could definitely be forgiveness. We have Judgment, and we have the Fool. Alright, so for you I feel like there's, there's a lot of re inner reflection going on. You're trying to make discernment. You're having a lot of um, self-awareness and self-insights here. And I feel like it's, it's almost as if you feel like this is something new, like you are entering either a new phase concerning your own path. Um, but I'm getting a very spiritual sense here. So it could be that you're just now starting out on your spiritual journey. You feel like you're waking up or you feel like you are entering a new level of spirituality or a new level of your awakening. Let's see what's going on with your person. We have the Three of Wands, we have the Tower, and we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, so <laughs> this is interesting. It's like, as you are moving forward, and as I said, it feels like you are leveling up and having all this awareness and seeing things clearly is what I'm getting. Um, your person is like a step behind you. Um, they're moving, I feel, in that direction, but they're having a tower moment at the moment. They're, they're having like a dark night of the soul where they too are going to have that, those revelations that you're having. But for them, because they took a different path, because they were stalling, or they were stalling or, or resisting, right, doing their work, the universe is stepping in and kind of forcing them to have these revelations or to wake up, but in a more forceful way, in a way that's not going to be as pleasant, okay, as it is for you, and it's leaving them like a little disillusioned, a little bit like, oh my gosh, what do I do now? All right, so that's what I feel is going on here. I feel like this is a very spiritual connection um, because I'm seeing a lot of spirituality here. Or I'm picking up on it. Um, let's see what's coming up in the near future. And we're going to clarify. Oh, we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Chariot. And we have the Devil. We have the Devil here just to ruin things. But don't, don't um, get disappointed just yet. This is interesting. At the bottom of the deck, we had um, the lovers and the four of wands. All right, so definitely a very spiritual connection. Don't let this devil get to you. We're gonna find out what it is about because we also have the ten of cups and we have the chariot. Okay, so I do see, and we don't forget, we do also have a union here. So let's see, let's begin clarifying. Let's see what's going on with the Page of Cups here. We have the Eight of Pentacles. The King of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. 
Okay, yeah, so this hasn't been easy for you. I feel like, um, I feel like you have been trying to forgive either yourself or your person for something in order for you to be able to move on. Um, and it's been, it's been a little bit of, of a struggle, okay? It hasn't been easy, but I feel like you are doing it. I feel like you're putting in a lot of effort. You are trying really hard here to get on your, to get on your path. Um, you're overcoming your challenges, but I'm not sure that you realize it. Like if you are being tested by the universe or by your own higher self even, you are passing those tests. You are. Um, I feel like you you just don't really know because because of the, because it's so challenging. So you're not even sure if you're if you're on your path. But this reading is here to tell you that you are. Okay, we have judgment following this and the fool. So let's actually clarify judgment. The two of wands, the knight of swords, and the ten of cups. So it's the second time we're getting the ten of cups here. Again, it's interesting how um, a lot of the, for the zodiac signs, like the same elements, like fire signs, for example, they always have like some kind of a common underlying theme and now it's the same for the earth signs, okay? So I'm picking up some similar energies with, with Taurus here. So yeah, again, with the, uh, with the two of wands being on the, on judgment, you're not sure if you're heading in the direction of this Ten of Cups. Like you're doing what you're doing, right? You're trying to get on your path. I feel like you're doing it for you because you feel like it's just what is right for you and it's in alignment with your own soul. Um, however, at the same time, you, you are hoping that this is going to also move you towards that Ten of Cups. And so it might be confusing to you because on the one hand, you feel like you're doing it for yourself. On the other hand, you feel like, you know, there's that underlying hope that it's going to also bring you and your person together. And that's okay for you to feel that, all right? That's okay for you to feel that because if you feel on a soul level that this is your person and this is who you are meant to be with, you're bound to, to feel that, all right? So don't think that that is holding you back just because you have that hope to have that 10 of cups, all right? Um, don't try to suppress that, you know? If that's what you feel like you would want, then you, know, you can acknowledge that. It's totally okay. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you, you're already beginning to accept that. Um, you may have tried to suppress those feelings in the past. You may have tried to tell yourself that, no, you don't want this. Um, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing here that you do. And if you don't, then this probably isn't your reading, okay? You can watch one of your other signs and see if that resonates with you more. So let's clarify the fool. Just real quick, we have the Eight of Swords. We got a lot here. We have the Eight of Swords, we have the Devil. There you go, the Devil again, see? Um, the Five of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so this is what you're balancing out. I feel like this is, you know, what has been the Devil here, what has been um, the toxicity or what it is that has been holding you back is an attachment, okay? Is a negative attachment. Either to your person or to something else. Um, I'm getting that it is your person, that there is something just unhealthy in the situation. Maybe a third party involved. I'm not seeing it anywhere. I'm just saying it could, it could be anything. Okay. This is general. It's a general reading. So it's going to be different for everybody. But for example, it could have been a third party and you were still staying connected to this person when your inner self was actually telling you, no, you need to detach because this person just, you know, isn't ready to be at your level. Um, or whatever, whatever it is, okay? But here I'm seeing that the attachment was from you, from your side. And it's, uh, yeah, it's like, you are ready right now. You are like embarking on a new journey where you are balancing yourself out. You are not accepting um, breadcrumbing. You are not accepting unfair treatment. Okay, you want the whole package and you want to break out of that prison 
that you were keeping yourself in. So I feel like that is what what's new here for you. And you, you don't want to be deceived. You're ready to leave that behind. And you also don't want to be deceiving yourself either. And it could be that, you know, you, throughout this, whatever it is that has happened, you have felt abandoned. And it could be that right now your person is feeling abandoned because you are taking a step away from them. You are moving on in your own life. Let's see what's going on with them. So let's clarify the Three of Wands. The Page of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Hierophant. Yeah, so they're in this, like I said, they're in this waiting type of an energy, um, but <laughs> I feel like like I said, they've been making you wait in a sense. However, I feel like right now they're they're doing something. They're stepping up their game here. They might communicate with you or they are just ready to take some action. They're feeling that drive building up within them and it has to do with a connection, okay? And it could be with you, having to do with you. It could be with another connection if, um, if there's a connection that they need to release. All right, but something here involving involving a commitment, some action is being taken. It could even be that they weren't um, communicating to you about about a connection, about your connection, or about another connection. And it feels like right now, yeah, you know, they were stalling, they were holding off, they didn't want to communicate about it, keeping you in the dark, and now. Um, now it feels like that's changing here. Let's go to the tower. Oh, we got a lot here. The King of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so they're being taught a huge lesson here, okay? Just like I said, when I said that they are one step behind you when it comes to understanding what is going on and having to have their own revelations, here they are with the Ace of Swords, right? Seeing the truth, seeing the truth of your connection, seeing the truth of whatever else is going on in their lives, seeing the truth of what this waiting, this stalling that they were doing, what that was causing, what that was creating. Was it creating what they wanted? No. All right, um, they're, they're really learning the lesson here concerning them being in this energy of escapism. All right, it feels like not only were they stalling, they were trying to avoid a situation. They were just being sneaky about it, like just not confronting whatever it is that needed to be confronted here. And this tower is stepping in into their lives to help them see that they can be this king of pentacles. All right, to learn that lesson of, you know what, I need to take control over my life in the 3D, like in the physical. It's not just about, oh, thinking and thinking and thinking around in circles and waiting and waiting and waiting. No, you actually got to do something. You have to take action and take responsibility for your life. And I feel like that is what they are now being taught by the universe. It's hard. It's not easy, okay? Things are going to be very difficult for them because they refuse to do this on their own. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. It feels like they, again, like they weren't taking responsibility for something. Um, Alright, Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the world. This is all about learning lessons for them. They, they were having a hard time closing out a cycle in, in their life, whatever that is. Possibly with a third party, with the Queen of Pentacles being here, um, but this could also be, this could also be you here. Um, it's like, 
they're still they're still a little disillusioned with whatever is going on and i feel like this tower might actually also be you the fact that you are moving on in your life and even if you're not completely turning your back to this connection or to this person even if you didn't tell them hey guess what you know i'm out of here bye they can feel you detaching. They can feel you moving on. And I feel like that is part of what is creating that tower moment as well as other things in their lives. I feel like this tower is, is multiple things playing out at the same time. And it's leaving them, like I said, like in this energy of, what do I do now? I need to weigh out my options. And it's forcing them to see their options and start doing something, again, with this Seven of Pentacles. Planting those seeds in order to come towards you because well, because you are their world. This is what they want. And they realize they need to close this cycle out. They need to end this phase in order to begin that new phase and join you in this fool's energy. All right, with this world. The world is all about a conclusion of something to step into a new phase or to open up a new chapter. And that's exactly what you are already doing with the fool. Right? Because right after the world is the fool. So like I said, you are one step ahead. They're still in the process of closing out the previous chapter to enter the new one, whereas you are already entering the new one. So let's see what is coming up. Because I do see this devil still here, but we'll get more information when we clarify. Let's see the Ten of Cups. The Fool again, and the Page of Swords, and the Two of Cups. This is definitely in the potential here, okay? Even in the near future, you are going to be feeling this. You, you will feel the love. I feel like your person is going to want this Ten of Cups here. Um, we have the Fool again. So I do see leaps being taken in that direction towards the Ten of Cups. This is the second time we're getting we have the Ten of Cups here. All right, um, and again, a page of swords, I feel like there is some action here being taken. And the two of cups, I mean, guys, this is a very strong connection. And I do see movement in, in that direction, okay? It feels like this love is just right around the corner here. Let's, even with the chariot, it's like action again. Yeah, the nine of wands. So it is action, but it's not easy, right? It's it's a little bit challenging, and I and the queen of swords. This is what is needed, all right? A lot of clarity. I do see that this union is in the potential here. It's a very very strong potential. Somebody though needs to forgive somebody. Um, and what is really at the root of all of this is some kind of a clarity and self awareness. And I feel like your person, what they need to realize and what they are going to begin realizing in the near future is that it doesn't have to be easy. I don't have to wait for things to be easy before I start doing something. It's hard. It's hard. It's going to be challenging, but I still need to move. I still need to do something. I need to at least start, take the first step and just deal with every challenge um, as they come. Let's clarify the devil. Okay, so we have the sun, so that's positive. All right, sun over the devil. I mean, we have a lot more positive cards here than we do negative, all right? So I feel like basically what this is saying is that Ten of Cups and the Sun, Two of Cups, the Fool. It's all going to overpower this devil, all right? You and your person can get out of this energy, all right? If somebody, somebody here is feeling abandoned, those feelings need to be dealt with, all right? Because that's going to be holding you back. So if you're feeling abandoned, you're feeling rejected, um, you know, work through that. Forgive your person so that you can move towards the sun and be in that higher vibration which is going to help you on your journey and then like I said they're one step behind right and look at that we have the ten of pentacles so and the high priestess these are all very positive cards clarifying a very negative card okay so this is telling me that there is, yes, that devil energy is still there. Um, your person might still be holding on to some fear. 
all right but staying in a high vibration can just help this connection a lot and help it move towards that that ten of pentacles for it to manifest in the physical all right it's all about following your intuition again this is very similar to taurus so i wouldn't be surprised if some of you are dealing with the taurus or um if you have strong taurus in your chart or if your person has strong taurus in their chart um so yeah that fear is still there but i do see the sun shining <laughs> at the end of the day here so this is actually <clears throat> pretty positive I feel like this is also your person um, really tapping into their own intuition and seeing that, you know what, yeah, I do have this toxicity in me, I, I do have things I need to work on, but, but I can move forward. Alright, so let's get the final messages for you if this was resonating. And please do give me a thumbs up if this resonated for you or if you like my videos. It does mean a lot to me. Let's see. I don't to There's that sun again. Okay. So we have the hanging man, we have the sun, and we have the five of cups. Okay, so it's a little mixture of things. It feels like there is... I feel like some, some patience is required, you know, and... With the hanging man being here, it's all about seeing things from a different perspective, seeing things um, from a higher vibration here so that you don't get stuck in this pessimistic um, victim type of a mentality. You're on the right track, all right? You're on the right path, but I feel like this is um, the guidance from spirit here, you know? Keep focusing on that sun. Keep focusing on that positive, all right? That, because that is in your potential here. That's where you're moving towards. All right, it's just easy sometimes to see the three spilled cups rather than the two cups behind you. All right, that's just, that's all it's saying. Um, there might be a little bit of waiting involved for your person because they need to catch up to you, but I do see them doing that with the sun also being here, clarifying the devil. So I do feel like this is actually also for them. It's a, it's a message here that they are moving in that direction just as you are, okay? There might be some sadness involved because whatever it is that they need to do or whatever it is that they're working through, it's going to be a little bit difficult, like I said before, and it is a little bit, um, it, it might bring them some sadness, okay? I don't know what it is, but it might bring them a little bit of sadness, but the sun always overpowers everything else. It's a stronger energy than any other card for me, all right, as a reader. So take that as it resonates, and let's get your final card here. For Virgo, if this was resonating, let's see. And we have happy, happy. All right, guys, I cannot make this up. <laughs> I cannot make this up. Do you see that? We have happy, happy, and we have the sun twice. Right? And we have the ten of cups twice as well. Okay, so happiness is definitely, definitely on the horizon for you, okay? And this is the vibration that you are being encouraged to just stay in as much as possible. Yes, acknowledge your feelings. If you're feeling sad, let that out and then just go back to focusing on that sun. Alright guys, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Much love.